Researchers finding traces of water on the sunlit surface of the moon. You set up a mining operation, a surface mining operation, oh, gathering these water molecules and then bottling it. Do you know the news that has taken the internet by storm? Well, astronauts are taking the flight to the moon by 2030 to reside and work there. Like seriously, is it really possible? So guys, this is what we are going to explore today. The mysterious secret about the astronauts who are searching for a new path that will make it easier for humans to explore discoveries in space. Also, this mission is not only for the United States but for the world. So, how come humans live for the long term in a place where they have no resources and sustainability to settle? So, hold your breath because this is going to be so interesting, you won't believe it. Just stay with us till the end of this video to learn about this biggest secret. Can humans live on the moon or not? Let's continue. As you know, many decades have passed in this research on whether humans can live on the moon or not. No one could answer this question until the statement made by NASA a few days back. Yes, strange, but this is really surprising. Also, there'll be habitats and work there as we do on Earth. Well, many people thought of these as rumors, but these weren't actually. Howard Hu, the head of the Orion Lunar Spacecraft Program, which belongs to the U.S. agency, announced on BBC's Laura Kuensberg program that humans could live on the moon soon, even before 2030. Furthermore, he also added that they are still sending people to live on the moon's surface, and they will live there and continue their scientific work with experiments. By following up in the footsteps of the Apollo program, Artemis would have the ability to return from humans to the moon's texture as soon as it would be possible, and it might happen in 2025. Howard and his announcements. Before knowing the truth about this mysterious secret, you should know a little about the person who has just declared this mind-blowing news. Yes, about Howard who. After all, he is the head of the today's video. Howard was appointed as in charge of the NASA spacecraft program in February. Now on Sunday, he is telling us that he is going to send a powered rocket that is known as Artemis to the surface of the moon. Yet he did not stop there but continued that this Artemis is going with fully suited mannequins. Artemis was the name of a Greek goddess. She was the daughter of one of their most powerful gods named Zeus and Leto, and she was also the sister of twin Apollo. Artemis was a famous and favorite goddess of their people. NASA named this mission Artemis as it was their most important mission to reach out to the moon. So, it seems really interesting from here. Another surprising thing he told us is that the spacecraft would fly to the moon not only within 60 miles, but it will also continuing its further flight of 40,000 miles before even turning back. Isn't that amazing? One more thing is interesting here, they have also decided the point where this spacecraft should be landed. So, he disclosed on BBC that this spacecraft would land in the Great Pacific Ocean according to NASA's plan. Not only that, the spaceship will re-enter Earth's atmosphere at a speed of roughly 25,000 miles per hour, causing its heat shield to reach almost 2,800 degrees Celsius or 5,000 Fahrenheit. San Diego's shore is predicted to experience showers. Well, they have not only planned the landing month but are so confident about this uncrewed mission that NASA has also declared the date, that is, the 11th of December. Yes, the question is why NASA sent the mannequins to the surface of the moon and not the human beings. NASA has prepared these mannequins in the manner of human beings somehow. Although they are not genuine beings, somehow, this aircraft will make an official list of their stress level and the pressure of pulls, pushes, and stretches on the body. However, it will keep a record of how much intensity, how much stress, and stretches can be affordable for a human body. Oh, doesn't that sound interesting? Furthermore, the crew will currently land close to the south pole of the moon, where they will spend roughly a week searching for evidence of water. If the priceless liquid is discovered, it might be utilized as rocket fuel to send people to Mars. To prepare for a human mission to Mars, NASA and its partners will use Mission Artemis to test and practice the procedures and technology needed to explore the solar system. This effort of NASA will hold the leadership of the U.S. into space exploration. These hardships regarding this mission also reflect the objectives of NASA that it wants to widen the knowledge about the solar system and universe. NASA is developing new technologies and expanding human resources through robotic exploration powers. Some more interesting facts. Do you know Howard who was put in charge of the deep exploration of space? And he never disappointed his authorities in this regard because he is the man who first sent a powered rocket for deep exploration in space, an experience sending three mannequins somehow close to the human body functions in some ways. And for him, it had never happened. So this crown goes to him only. Do you also think the same? Yes, that's cool. But a few days after the Artemis-powered rocket launched, Howard declared on BBC that his purpose of doing so was not to earn a name in the world or in the US, but he was doing all this hard work for world recognition. Not only that, he announced it as a historical day not only for NASA but also for all those people who love to know more about space and for those who want to explore space experiments and spacecraft. Wow, impressive. When did you last hear of a landing on the surface of the moon? When we searched for it, we realized it happened many decades back in 1972. It was a NASA astronaut 
His name was Gene Cernan. He went on a lunar rover while the Apollo 17 mission occurred in December 1972. Finally, after five decades, too long a period to restart an uncompleted mission, but see his passion and courage. He at least did it and did it in a memorable way. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. It was created in 1958 by Dwight Eisenhower. NASA's work is so lucidly before us that the human race is in an effort to build up on the moon, who said to the BBC, learning about the universe outside of planet Earth's orbit will be difficult because that is a really big stepping stone and will probably take two years to complete. How amazing it is. Furthermore, to explore more quickly and cooperatively, NASA is traveling to the moon alongside business and international partners. The moon will be a testing ground for technologies and resources that will take humans to Mars and beyond, including developing a sustainable, reusable architecture. This mission will provide new knowledge and opportunities and excite the next generation. If this mission is a success, it will open the door to the Artemis II and III flights, which would both send people around the moon and back. The Apollo twin sister, Artemis Program, will organize the building of a lunar gateway, a space station where astronauts will live and work while orbiting the moon. Furthermore, NASA has provided some information about the astronauts who will travel to the moon in 2025. Well, as part of the Artemis III mission, two astronauts the first person of color and the first woman to set foot on the moon will be sent to the lunar surface and remain there for nearly a week. Then friends, why could not we see these dreams to be on the moon? These astronauts are seriously going to live there. Here if we are digging the Earth, they are doing their jobs more scientifically over these clouds. Wow, such incredible and speechless work they have done. They are extraordinary people who find another world to live in. So, it can be clearly seen on your face that you enjoyed every moment of this video. After knowing about the mysterious secrets of the universe, you will be amazed. If you find these facts informative, like the video, and subscribe to our channel so that you enjoy our attention-grabbing videos to watch. If you have any interesting ideas or information to share with us, you can also let us know in the comments section, appearing below. We will love to read your comments and get suggestions from your side. So, friends, stay tuned for more informative videos and keep in touch. Till the next video, take care, farewell, and have a good day.